All right, keeping it weird with the DEF CON tipsy badge. So the basics are you hook yourself up to these electrodes and put them behind your ears to throw off your vestibular balance. You can control the left and right direction and drive yourself around or throw it in wobble mode and kind of push yourself back and forth continuously. These are sold at the Hacker Warehouse booth in the vendor area Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Half the profits will go to the tour project and I'll have some at the shoot or find me somewhere Thursday if you want it earlier. For hardware, it's powered on a Raspberry Pi 2040 uh, and two AAAs, uh, just one SAO port, USB-C, Arduino compatible, open source. There's a 1.7 inch color TFT that's 160 by 128. So you take this elastic band and you uh, put it over your head, either on your uh, forehead or even under your nose sometimes works better for some people. And the idea is to keep the pressure on these pads into your skin uh, behind your ears. In terms of features, Let's take a look at this. So first there's some different you know, LED blink back modes and you can change the speed of this. Uh, these are kind of rear mounted LEDs. There's some photos that are preloaded. This uses a USB mass storage device. So you just plug it into any computer and you can copy files over. You can load your own photos. Um, the instructions on that are online. It's used the target image format, which Kim supports. For name scroll mode, you can show off your handle. Um, you can change like the colors and the text size and all that too. So if you want to like flip the display around, you can do that. Um, you can, if you put this on and left is right, right is left, you can flip the pads in software. You can reset all the configuration and kind of factory reset the badge. And we have some software target limits. So um, by default, the hardware has a current limiting circuit of around five milliamps, but um, we have a software target lower than that to start. So the main modes, let me plug in a pseudo human here. And so you have to hold the zap button or you will not get zapped. Um, that button's in line. And for the steering mode, you can just kind of control the power and direction left and right and see the waterfall graph. The purple is voltage, the yellow is current. Um, you can switch it from DC to like a sine uh, waveform. Sometimes this makes it feel a little bit less painful for some people. Um, but this is always either left or right side as opposed to the wobble mode that there is no direction control because it just pushes you all the way left, all the way right. And you can control the frequency of that. Of course, the first thing you wanna do is go into calibrate mode. So when you first put these on, your skin resistance will be pretty high. You won't have very good conductivity. And we intentionally limit the current until you reach about 1.13 milliamps. Um, after that is when you're kind of good, you'll see a green bar and you can go into the rest of the modes. So to adjust this, just zap yourself for maybe a minute or two, push the pads in um, harder into your skin, lick them. You can apply some included lube. We had to test conductivity, a different lube for this. Um, or you can you know, reposition the pads, make them closer, whatever. But the point is you wanna get um, a good connection, good conductivity before going into the main modes. And that's what the calibrate mode for it is for. There's other details online on uh, the manual if you kind of have trouble. There's also this color game, the Stroop game, I think they call it. So you can set whether you wanna get zapped when you get it wrong or when you get it right. There's a power mode. Um, of course, you have to hold zap during this game if you wanna actually get zapped. And um, let's take a look at this. So at the top text, you don't uh, input what the text says, you input what it actually is. Like, so this is red, blue, red, yellow, white, and so on. So if you get all 10 right, you get a score, and if you beat the high score, it'll store that. In um, hard mode, even the answers are color coded, so this gets like extra annoying. Uh, purple, red, purple, you get the idea. So um, for safety, we talked about that a little bit, but again, there's a hardware current limit. Um, there are some software targets. The zap button is in line with the pad, so if you don't push, push and hold the zap button, you will not get any. Uh, current or voltage to the pads, which also means when you're in these modes, um, you want to hold zap when you are at zero power as it slowly ramps up. Um, you don't want to like crank it up and then hit the zap button. So uh, see our complete list of disclaimers and manual online. They'll be in the description. And don't put the electrodes on your balls.